Okay, so in the uh, previous video on the um, how to replace the battery in your Black & Decker vacuum, I talked about having to solder the, uh, the ends. So I'm just showing you how to do that real quick. You need a uh, solid wire. You need a iron to solder it, and then you just heat it up and make sure it's attached. So then on the other end, same thing, get your wire, heat it up, and you want to just make sure you have a, a good contact on there. Okay, so you can see right there, as well as the other side. So you're just making sure that um, the contact is solid so that it doesn't disconnect. So let's go ahead and plug it back in to the vacuum. Okay, the new battery pack is back in the uh, housing and you can see that blue battery, which is the one that I replaced. So it's back in here. You'll notice it's coming out just a tad bit because um, it's not an exact fit, but it's close enough. So let's go ahead and put the top on. So this is going to uh, seal our battery pack. And it is now ready to go back in. So now all you're doing is uh, putting everything back together exactly the way it was. You're going to want to push um, the casing back together. Grab your screws from earlier because we're going to go ahead and screw it back together. All right, so it's all put back together. So the suction on it is as good as new. Um, you saw that it didn't die right away. So that is how you replace the battery pack and you can continue using your Black & Decker vacuum.